can't get a check and no gun. Niggas not calling my phone. Niggas ain't talking to this. Niggas said, leave me alone. I get a check and no gun. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite host of the day. Yay. Hey guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah. I'm looking cute, right? I don't care if you don't think so, because I'm going on. Period. <laughs> Let's get some better lighting in here. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, guys. So, as you can tell by the title down below, we're definitely going to be talking about um, this new gadget I got. I'm super excited to show it off. Um, I just wanted to start this video off by showing off my braids from my braider. Okay? She's my braid tech, and I'm in love. She got the peekaboo going on in my hair. She got this beautiful heart that she did for the very first time ever. And of course, I had to be the test dummy, so I didn't mind. It came out so cute. She's the type to start over and over and over, but she did this. I'll put one try. Yeah, it was so freaking cute. It, well, it is so freaking cute. I'm acting like it's not on my head right now. And yeah, so this is what I'm looking like. Yeah, I told her I didn't want a lot of braids in my head, and I got just that I could fit my braids in my hand and not have to be like this. So I think it looks really, really cute. I'm really excited about how it came out and how it looks. And so, yeah, I just put a reel up on Instagram. I'll probably attach it in this video um, so that y'all can see it. But y'all, get your hair done, get your hair done, and get your hair done. Top five things that'll pick up your mood when you are feeling low. Get your hair done, get your hair done, get your hair done, get your hair done, get your hair done. I don't know what it is about getting your hair done, getting a fresh sew in, um, braids, whatever that just makes you feel like, but it does. We're finna head downstairs so I can show you guys this thing that I got and I'm super excited about it. So let's go. So this is what I got right here which is a washer on this side and a spin dryer on that side. Lately, I have been going on Facebook to like get things and my first experience on Facebook market, um, getting my nail table, it wasn't too bad, but I really didn't like it and I was irritated with the person that sold me my table because it was just a lot of run around and it was a lot of like taking time and I was already in my space and I didn't like that. It technically was not the person's fault. Um, She had to wait until stock got back in place, but it was just still so annoying when you got business to handle, you know what I'm saying? Um, But I would say, you know, if you can't find a decent price table, you know, go on Facebook market and just shop around. Make sure the seller is like a legit seller. Make sure that um, you do your research, look at reviews, you know, um, Facebook market, you know, they, it's a legit place. I don't do any shippings. Like that's the only thing I do. Even though Facebook market is legit, I don't do anything that involves shipping. Like, no, I need to become, pick it up, look at it, feel it, touch it, or like uh, all of that. If I can't do that, then I can't shop with you. And it's just that simple. So we're going to get into this washer and spin dryer because I'm super, super excited. The reason behind it is because I really did not want to keep going to the wash house. Why did I got my brain sticking out like that? Um, That's how you know I look cute because I didn't even care. But anyway, I didn't want to keep going to the wash house to like wash my towels when I do nails. I definitely don't recommend if you are in, you know, the cosmetology world to wash your your cosmetology stuff in your personal washer and dryer because one, it could mess it up and two, that's just too much germs for me, you know, for my own good. That's just too, too much germs. So I invested in this. Guys, this thing normally runs you a hundred plus. But like I said, I went on Facebook Marketplace and I found this uh buyer that was um she had it for 50 on Friday. And then I went back and looked again, she had it for 45. So I was like, 
So I got it for the price that she listed for, which was 45, which is I am a okay with that. So I went on and got that. I picked it up yesterday. She opened the box. The box was not open. This is the box right here. The box was not open, but I was so particular like to make sure everything was in there. I wasn't missing any pieces. So she opened it right in front of me and it came with the wrapping on it. It came with this and you see another one down there for the bottom protection. So it came real deal. She also lifted up the head for me to show me that it had the extension, it had the cord, it had the drainer and it had like the water intake part in it as well. So all of that was good and I'm just happy about the outcome of everything. I had no issues. She wasn't shady or anything like that. I definitely came prepared. So if she, you know, she wanted to try something, she was gonna get something. Yeah, I was gonna see the kid on the news. But anywho, um, you know, I came prepared or whatever because you know, you just, this world got a lot going on. So you just have to be mindful and be careful. So I was most definitely with being careful yeah read between the lines anyway we finna go ahead and set this thing up because i know i done talked y'all ear off so i'm gonna keep it on here just so like i can move it around without scratching up the floor let's go ahead and fill this bag oh i'm so excited i wish it came in different colors i do believe it come in like a gray and white and then this blue and white but imagine if it came in purple. Oh my gosh, like what? It do come with instructions, but you know, <laughs> you know we don't read those. Anyway, I ha I did watch a YouTube video on how to use this. So we just going to, you know, get into it. Up here, you have your water intakers on both sides. It goes from zero, three, six, nine, 12, 15. So these are three increments. It's your wash time here. Then this is your um, wash selective. So you have gentle, you have normal, and then you have drain. When you put it on drain, it is for the water that is in the washer to drain out. So when you are washing on your minutes, do not have it on drain because while you're washing, that water is going to be going out. You need to wait until the cycle finish, then turn it on drain so it can go out. You also can wash clothes in here. Of course, you can't wash a whole bunch of clothes, but you can wash clothes, bras, underwear, pajamas, socks, whatever. You can wash whatever in here. Of course, not like a big old bubble jacket, but even if you have a zip up jacket or a hoodie or a sweatsuit, it can fit in here. Check YouTube for other videos. Over here is for the dryer and the dryer only. So on this side, it goes from zero, one, two, three, four, five. So these are literally like just one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. And it'll just spin until it's done. So let's back this up a little bit. We're gonna turn it on this side. As you can see right here, this is your drainer. So, the only time the drainer is going to drain is when you have it on drain. Also, you do not want the drainer sitting up like this when it's draining. You want to unhook, which you can see right here. You'll unhook it and you'll put it down. I see some people on YouTube with a Home Depot paint bucket. If you want to put this in your tub, you can put it in your tub. I'm not only because I don't want anything that's draining out to mess up my tub and then now I gotta get my tub fixed. But as for me, I'm gonna let it drain outside, which will be going out there later because I don't have a bucket at the moment. Okay, so now we'll start off with the dryer side. Um, let me scoot it up just a little bit, or I could tilt it. So on the dryer side, you have this lid here and then you have this lid to keep your clothes inside. You can see it is not as deep on the dryer side. I can only fit like half my hand. It's not that deep on the dryer side because if you have too much in here, it will, it'll be doing all of that. And we don't want that, okay? We want it to just sit, spin, and be done. 
So, it's something else that's gonna go in the dryer, but they put it on this side. It's this. So, what you wanna do is kinda like fold it a little bit and push it to the back. When you push it to the back, it gives you the space to like put it right here. So you're gonna put it right here. You're gonna close this up, close it down, turn on the dryer time. When it's finished, you're gonna open up everything. You're gonna push this back to the back, bend it a little bit, and then just pull it out. So here is your tube. which you connect like this. This part is supposed to go onto a sink knob or something like that. But of course y'all, this don't even look like this is going to fit a sink. Anyways, back inside. So this is the washer side. The washer side does not have an agitator. As you can see, it just, you know, it's just, it's a really like our real washer. Our real washer don't have an agitator. But I could fit majority of my arm in here, so you can get a good bit in here, y'all. You can get like a really good bit in here. But I'm only strictly using this for towels. Um, so all my towels will fit. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. But y'all, yeah, I'm super excited to go ahead and get this show on the road. So let's go ahead and set this up. Okay, so we have it set up right here, and it's just going to drain down. It's a skinny thing, so it's just going to drain down right on that dirt right there. Just want to take a look inside of the dryer. Do you guys see this here? This is a filter. This filter catches all of the lint, dust, and all that extra stuff. So, I couldn't figure out how to remove the filter, so I'm just going to figure that out later. I just finished um, using this napkin because I didn't feel like going upstairs and getting a disinfectant wipe. I wet this napkin, put some dish detergent on it, and cleaned the inside of the washer. Um, this is my bin. It's labeled dirty. Just in case they board try to come, you know, make sure y'all on y'all P's and Q's. So, here is my dirty bin with my towels. I'm just going to go ahead and Pre-shake them. That's another reason why I do this outside. But pre-shake them and then line them up in a circle around the bee. So let's just do that. So if you take a look inside, you can still see the middle. Now I have this water jug in the house that I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up with. And then as I'm filling it, I'm gonna add this and um, a little bit of bleach. Go ahead and pour this in here. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and turn this off drain before they try to get me. So I'm gonna put this on normal. So let me just go back to the window. I'm gonna add a little bit of my detergent. Yeah, it's coming out and I took it off of the drain. Let's see why it's leaking. See, this is why I'm glad I'm doing this outside. All my water juice went away. 
And I know I don't need that, so. See y'all, I don't know how to do this thing. And the crazy thing about it is, the lady had hers inside her house, in the kitchen. And it wasn't leaking. It's pretty cool to see it spin though. But it's leaking. So you see it spinning and washing. Then down below, you see under, you see that is leaking there. But I told y'all it was gonna drain into the dirt. Y'all ain't believe me, did you? Y'all thought it was gonna get on here, even though it did. But that's coming from the bottom. <laughs> yeah. It's not leaking as much onto the onto the patio anymore. So, just gonna let that wash. Okay, so, it finished washing. So, it's still water in here and it's no longer leaking on the ground. I don't know what, was, what it was. So, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the drain. Oh my God. It's done. So, it's now draining, as y'all can hear over there draining but it was hitting the window so it's going all out but i'm finna do another rent cycle Now I'm going to just add my little protector. Let them continue. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn on the drain. Oh my gosh. So it's on three minutes. This dryer do not play. Oh my gosh. Let me keep it closed. Also, it'll only spin. See, that's what you don't want to happen. That's why you gotta keep that protector in here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all, this thing is drying. What in the world? I, I thought I put it in here good enough. This is very handy, y'all, for real. Oh. Y'all, that was only three minutes.
<laughs> yo if i leave these in here for the four or five minutes without bothering it are you kidding me this was the best 45 dollars i ever spent in my life are you kidding me Y'all, these are dang near dry. This is crazy. I'm so shocked. All right, y'all. So I'm going upstairs because I need to check my phone. I've been getting messages this whole time since I've been watching. Honestly, this took a, a, a lot of the time that I was spending in the wash house. It took that time down 10 max. So I'm excited about that. Um, right now, I'm doing another five minutes on the dry cycle um and then i'm going to put it in my personal dryer only because i like the fluff after the heat dry so what it does is do a um it does a spin dry but i like the heat to make the the things that i have fluff back up so the towels that i have fl fluff back up so um after they are completely air dried or spin dried i'm gonna add it into my dryer so i will talk to you guys later i hope you guys enjoyed that experience experience with me because i didn't want to figure it out and then show y'all i wanted to have my fails too so y'all know like this is real like it's not as easy as what youtube portray because i feel like a lot of them know how to use it before they make the video and then they make the video and we'd be like oh it's easy Nah, baby. <laughs> I gotta still figure out why I was looking at the bottom. I, I like all of that. So, yeah. I hope you guys liked it. Um, comment down below what you think about this video. And then, um, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Just a quick shout out. I want to say thank you so much to everybody that is subscribed to my channel. Everybody that likes a video. Everybody that comments down below. Because... Even though I have 300 subscribers, I don't have 300 comments. You get what I'm saying? So, I am so freaking grateful that my shorts videos are blowing up. I'm so freaking thankful that my short videos are blowing up. My regular videos are blowing up. Like, I am so grateful for y'all. Like, I am only at 340-something subscribers. Even though that is small to others, that is big to me because I didn't even think I would be here. And just growing and growing and growing and growing just shocks me more and more and more and more. And it just shows me, like, the importance of having the sh the subscribers behind you. The importance of having the likes. The importance of having the views. The importance of having the comments. And y'all just feel my heart every single time I get a new subscriber, every time I get more likes than normal, every time I get comments from different people. It was just such a beautiful feeling to see it all coming together. And I just thank God every day for my YouTube channel to actually take off and, and be viewed in a positive light. So I just want to thank y'all so, so, so much for the love that y'all are showing me and the growth that we are going through together like i appreciate y'all so much and y'all don't even know it i do want to do a giveaway when i read a, a certain amount of numbers um if y'all want to be a part of what numbers i i should do the giveaway y'all comment down below how much y'all think um how many subscribers i should get to before i do the giveaway just to show my thanks and just to show y'all like how much i appreciate y'all so again thank y'all so much i appreciate y'all so much like i love y'all